Hello YouTube. This is another response video to uh, film theory. Today it's about Wally -E and uh, cannibalism. Whenever I think about cannibalism, I think about Soylent Green. I never really, I, I didn't watch the movie that's from, but uh, the idea of eating people is all up in that film, so... Oh, and Sweeney Todd. Uh, I liked Sweeney Todd as a musical. It had uh, Johnny Depp. Um, even though it was a really, really exceptionally morbid uh, movie and made me think twice about going to any unknown barbershops alone ever. Side note, I never go to barbershops alone um, ever. Uh, not just because of the movie, but boy, the movie didn't help. Um, but to get straight to the video, MatPat discusses Wally in terms of... The length of the time the ship was supposed to be away from from Earth. Uh, so they had like the robots and they're sent down. They're supposed to be away for five years. They end up being away for 700 years. And this difference is huge. I think 140 times. Um, so even high estimates of extra food provisions would most definitely be exhausted. And while it's logically consistent, or it makes sense to think that they would try and grow food, the whole premise of the movie shows that plants are rare and, if not extinct, or almost extinct, are just totally inaccessible. So they're definitely not growing any food with plants, and in order to have animal-based food, they have to have also plants, well, except for, like, certain bacteria that grow off of sun, but I don't think that was there, so... In order to, in order to have food, cannibalism makes sense. It, aside from wholly synthetic foods, and but it it really it makes sense to me. His it's a really consistent theory that Matt Pad delivers. Um, dead bodies, I see dead people, or rather, I don't see dead people on the on the ship. You don't see any gravestones or anything uh, it wouldn't make sense to have that on a spaceship it just takes up space and dead people are dead um, we don't have any means of reanimating the dead in this in this setting so uh, <laughs> there's no really no real reason to have them around so unless they're cremating the bodies they have to be recycling them and how would you recycle them when with the shortage of food as Matt Pat suggests you would cook them and eat them and so <laughs> He clearly, Matt Pat clearly has me convinced of this theory. Well, one thing I also wanted to mention was uh, Otto, the robot who is programmed to follow directives, and is that's that touches on me for uh, AI. I really like AI, and Otto's directive A one one three tells him not to go back to Earth at all costs. Do not let the ship go back, and so he makes that his whole focus. And it would make sense. If they're away for 700 years because of his directive, he would figure like the robot would figure out a way to keep this system running, uh, which includes the eating of people. Um, this ensures that they uh, lost my place, <laughs> but um, because the humans are increasingly reliant on the technology. And because Otto is in such control over everything, this ensures that the humans will never return without outside help, which in the form in the movie is takes the form of Wally and Eve. Um, it also means that w Otto is getting the future, and he is being a robot doesn't necessarily have to be programmed or coded with the same ethics that normal humanity has. So. Uh, this is the perfect recipe for a human meat pie, or as in the this movie, slushy, which is entirely gross and just terrible. But as Matt Passing says, if you blend it, it probably you can mask mask the taste. Um, the ending bit mentions, yeah, the ending bit mentions the um, blending things and. You see them all drinking, like, hamburger, pizza, everything in a, in a Slurpee, but they don't have cows, they don't have pigs, so there you have it. But the biggest thing for me, while I don't intend to go out and eat anybody anytime soon, because that's just not right, 
I am not really bothered by this as I initially thought I would be. Don't get me wrong, uh, eating humans is not respectful or moral in any stretch of the word. I value life and the human form, and I think that it's, I guess, an honor for the dead to preserve them, at least as best we can. Um, like, not like mummies, but, you know, give them a respectful end. Um, whether it be cremation if they desire that, or just bury them uh, with preservatives or whatever, if that's so how they desire. Eating them it doesn't, that's not, that doesn't fit with my um, view, my views. Uh, but they aren't killing people just to eat them here in Wally. They're killing, they're eating dead people who have died, people who are taking up space and could be used as resources for something else. And I don't see that quite as evil. It's morbid, definitely morbid, but it's not evil, which is definitely better than in some settings where people are being harvested, um, which is both morbid but also hurtful. So I can understand in the grim setting that Wally uh, depicts, it, while it may be desecrating bodies, it's not literally ruining and slaying innocents like in Sweeney Todd. So it's not necessarily a bad, terrible, terrible thing. Um, but I don't really uh, have anything else to say to uh, comment about this uh, theory. I agree with it. Like, I agree with most of Matt Pat's theories. Most of them are well laid out. Um, and so I think I'm going to just sign off here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.